everybody. This is Ellen Valentine here with Leatherworks School. Uh, slightly different camera setup, but I'm here today because I want to show you a little bit of stitching. Uh, I had one of my book owners, one of the folks that own Leatherworks School book, uh, contact me and say, hey, Ellen, you know, great pictures in the book and everything, but it's still a little difficult to really see what you're doing with the stitching. Uh, is there any way you could shoot a video? So, of course, I want to help, and uh, I think a video is a great idea. So uh, I've got two cameras here, this one that you're seeing me on right now, uh, but then I've got another camera I'm gonna flip to, and it's literally right in front of my face. So hopefully it, it's, it's showing you uh, exactly what I'm looking at and what I'm seeing, and I hope that this up close uh, image will give you just what you need to show you how to do uh, some good hand stitching. And uh, so let, let's go ahead, without further ado, let's, let's go ahead. So here we are. Uh, we're in front of my work and I've just started. This is just a simple piece of leather, two sides glued together. I've gone ahead and I've already pre-pierced this and I have pierced it the whole way through. So my holes are going the whole way through this leather and so I don't need an awl. So this first round I'm gonna show you stitching without using an awl. Uh, and all you're really gonna do is you're gonna insert your needle in the back, insert your needle in the back, I like to push down slightly at an angle because that opens up that hole. So I'm pushing down, putting my right hand, I'm putting the needle in the back and crossing those needles, and then I'm pulling through. And when I have just a little bit through, I'm holding down, holding down in the back, I'm holding down with my pinky finger here, I'll try to scoot up a little bit, holding down with my pinky and I'm putting that back needle in the top part of the stitch. Then what I'm doing is I'm wrapping to cast stitches, I'm wrapping that back thread over the top of the needle and then I'm pulling. And what I always like to do is I always like to pull the front stitch all the way through to the back and set that and then pull the back stitch the rest of the way. And then the final step is you actually grab your threads at an angle. It's not, it's not parallel, it's at an angle. You're actually at the same angle as your stitching clam when you're pulling. So the back thread is high, the front thread is low. That's helping to set the angle. So let's do another stitch here. Needle in the back. I like to push a little bit on the eye. Make that hole nice and large. Put the needle on the top wrap my thread across the top, pull the, back, pull the back needle through, set that front stitch, then pull the thread all the way through, and then give it a nice pull with the thread held at an angle, the back thread high, the front thread low. One more in the back, tap a little bit on the eye, Thread in, thread over, set the front stitch, set the back stitch, and pull. Once you get the hang of all this, you can get almost a hypnotic, <laughs> almost a hypnotic rhythmic pattern, and you can get much, much faster, much faster. So there you have it. This is stitching without an awl. Now, if I had just marked my stitches and my stitches were not pierced the whole way through, then I would need an awl. And this is the Blanchard awl. I happen to really like it. I think it's great for ladies because it is a little smaller than many of the other awls out there. The awl is gonna sit right in the palm of your hand, right in that indentation is where it sits. And you're going to hold the ferrule. This is the ferrule. You're going to hold that, hold that collar between your thumb and your index finger. Then you're going to use that to pierce the whole way through. And I realize you can't see, so I'm going to hold my hand down. I'm going to pierce the thread and I'm going to chase, I'm going to chase that all point with my needle to move back through. Again, you know I like to tap on the tap on the hole through same sort of process. Now I want to show you a little bit more closely here. 
when you have the awl, it's, it's tucked right in the palm of your hand. You're holding it between your thumb and your index finger to do your piercing. And then what happens is while you're putting that needle through, you're actually going to use your thumb to move that all out of the way and you're going to simultaneously grab a hold of the needle. So this is kind of like rubbing your tummy and patting your head. It's just uh, something you're gonna have to get used to, that simultaneous action. But once you get it, uh, it allows you to use an awl, but then not set down your work. You won't have to set down your work at all. You're just going to push it aside, grab that needle, and go on through. So, so that's what you want to do when you're using an awl, is get to the point where you can easily insert the needle. I'm sorry, insert your awl. Insert your awl, insert the needle, push that awl out of the way, move the needle from in between your index finger and your second finger, so now you're using it to cross behind. So again, it's just something you're gonna have to get used to, uh, putting the awl in, putting the needle in, pulling through, It's difficult with the camera angles uh, to, for you to see everything because uh, you want to get close up, but then that means you can't see everything. But you'll get to the point where the awl is very comfortable in your hands and you're using it effi efficiently to open up that hole. And the big thing you're going to have to practice is inserting the awl at the same angle. You want, don't want to go one time inserting it this way, the next time you're holding the awl all the way up here, you want to go in in the same angle every time so that your back stitches are straight and nice and parallel. So again, you'll get used to it over time. Now I've stitched off the edge of my clam here, so I want to move forward. And you know, this is a little different than using an English clam because with an English clam, you generally are working upright. Some of the other clams that are newer out there, you're working upright and you're constantly looking at the front and the back of your work. With a French style clam, which is what this is, you're really not looking at the back of your work. You might feel with your fingers the back, but you're really, really not looking at the back of your work. So there you have it, stitching with an awl. When you're casting your stitches, you're gonna get a nice angle. This is the back, so you've got a really nice angle with the back, and you have a nice angle with the front. So you've got a nice angle with the front, and you've got that nice angle on the back. So that's what you're after, and that's why you cast. If you don't wanna cast uh, for whatever reason, you don't have to cast. And by the way, casting is harder if you've got very, very thin leather. Um, you don't wanna, um, you wanna be careful because it's much harder to cast um, when the leather is thinner. But if you don't wanna cast, you're just pushing it through. You're not, you're not doing this. You've eliminated this from the, from the process. You're just pulling straight through, straight through without casting. The front stitch is probably going to look a little more angled this way without casting. Uh, it's also probably a little bit faster because you're not having to do that wrapping motion. Uh, so it, it does move along a little bit better. Let me do a few more stitches here so you can see what the back, the difference is in the back and what that's going to look like. And you can see I'm just moving along here at a pretty decent pace once you get the hang of the motion you can move along pretty nicely so now let's look at the last couple of stitches can you see the difference here i realize with this camera it might be difficult we've got a nice angle going up to this point and then when i stopped casting 
I've got straight stitches. So there is a difference there um, in the opt in what you see in the back when you do not cast. So for those of you that were looking for some video instruction on how to stitch, I hope this helps. As always, you can send me a DM at Leatherwork School on Instagram. Shoot me an email at support at leatherworkschool.com. And don't be um, bashful about subscribing. Uh, click below to subscribe and you'll get all the new videos as they're released. So thanks very much and enjoy your day.